All right, today, well, guess what? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, y'all. How you doing? How you doing today? I hope your day's going well. If you're here, know that you're, you're the best SEO channel possible, period. <laughs> All right, I joke. Someone said that I had uh, some arrogance. I mean, I guess I do, whatever. Keep in mind, this is all just for fun. But uh, if you are here and you're watching my channel for the first time, know that I do completely unscripted, uncut SEO videos, teaching you SEO, stuff that you don't see in other YouTube channels, period. If you don't believe that, click into my channel and browse around. Give my videos like maybe five, 10 minutes of your time. I will show you stuff that no one else is talking about, period. And I want to continue to do that today. Um, and even in this video, no one else does this. They don't show you sites that you can just build in public just for fun and show you how SEO works, okay? So this is one that I'm building just for fun, just for these videos. And uh, look at that, up 3,000 in terms of traffic with zero backlinks, okay? So this just goes to show, these are the types of videos that I do, stuff that no one else shares. And remember, it's because... This channel's for the big rigs, and it's not for those who are playing with Tonka trucks, okay? No Tonka truck SEOs allowed on my channel. All right, but let's go over what actually happened. So it's been a little bit since I've checked in. Uh, remember, SEO takes a long time, so it's not like it's gonna like just happen tomorrow. So I, I can't unfortunately do like a video every single week on a site. Um, if you're not familiar with the site, it's basically just definitions. It's not a glamorous site at all. Um, no logo, no nothing, uh, just content gap. Uh, you know, you can watch the first video. I show you a little bit about the strategy. SEO strategy is everything. And uh, that's really where the experience comes in. You can watch some of my keyword research videos. You just watch more of the videos and you'll kind of get a general sense of what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean like nothing super fancy, right? Also, you can go to this site and you can copy it if you want. Actually, I warmly welcome that. So if you would like to, just go ahead and go ahead and try. I will kind of prove to you why it's very hard to compete once you put that information gain out there, meaning the, the new info that Google's never seen before, it logs that and it associates that to a domain. And that means that if somebody else tries to come in, they're really gonna have to have that info game plus a lot of authority in order to kind of knock you out. But it's definitely possible because I don't really have any authority at all. So if someone wants to go ahead and steal this traffic, please do it or yeah, whatever. But anyway, last time we checked in, we had roughly around 2000 in terms of the organic traffic. Um, now it's sitting at around 5,500. So why did that happen? Um, basically just, I didn't do anything. So the site's just been sitting there, the content's been sitting there, and uh, I'll go over today kind of why this happens and why this changes, why your rankings change over time and what's actually going on. But just generally speaking, you know, we're just kind of leaning into the, the niche, right? But uh, don't think of this as topical authority. I don't want to say that. That's not what's going on. I will show you what's going on. I will show you why this is happening. But just generally kind of all rankings are starting to kind of move up in, uh, in like simultaneously, okay? And then you're gonna say, oh, well, maybe there's a core update or something. No, 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 no. That's not why this is happening. I will show you why all these rankings are kind of moving up uh, all at the same time, okay? So yeah, that's generally what's going on. I didn't publish anything new. I didn't create any more backlinks. So let's check that off the list. No new content, no new backlinks, nothing like that. Just just naturally just kind of growing. So uh, note before we move into why this is happening, traffic's probably gonna drop. Um, that does happen. Traffic fluctuations happen. No matter what you do in SEO, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. So just note that there is no perfect nailing it uh, and just like massively successful from the get-go. I've seen a couple of sites like this and I'm gonna cover them in the future, but generally speaking, they come from people who are focusing really heavily on branding, okay? Very, very heavily on branding, like being on TV and doing doing very like self-branded things, okay? Um, and we're not doing that with this site. So that means that it's gonna have kind of that up and down nature. Okay, but the real question is, why did everything move up all together, okay? So let's start with a little quote. A little quote is, what worked yesterday doesn't always work today. Elizabeth Gilbert, I like that quote, right? That's pretty much how you can describe SEO. Unfortunately, what worked yesterday doesn't always work today. 
and that's what drives you a little bit mad, I know. And so in another video that I'm gonna do upcoming, so subscribe if you're not subscribed and get the notifications and all that good stuff because I'm gonna do a video that describes why SEO isn't working for you. The biggest mistakes that you're making, actually the biggest mistake, period. There's just one that you really, really need to focus on, okay? Anyway, so what Google collects about your domain? So this is really key. So Google is collecting data about you, period. Why wouldn't they, right? So if you're in their database, there's a domain in their database, they, they track your backlinks, they track your authority. So they've got data about you, right, about your website. They want to know that they're serving up good websites to people that are using their services. So what do they collect underneath your domain? Click-through rate, it's huge. So there was the recent um, uh, like subpoenas that essentially revealed that yes, click-through rate is a huge portion of what they track about your website. So people going to your website from the search results. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Why would they not do that, okay? And then uh, time on page. Yes, of course, they're gonna track this. They're gonna track whether or not someone got their question answered. And that doesn't mean that you need to manipulate time on page, okay? So when we're talking about time on page, like longer articles, etc., that's not what they're looking at. They're looking at time on page and like exit intent, it's called, and all sorts of different triggers to kind of basically figure out is someone engaged on your page, okay? It's like, I don't wanna go into that like, oh, I should just add a button or whatever. Like, no, 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 no. Just, just think about it as just making some good quality content, okay? And then there's info gain. This means that Google is actually seeing on a keyword by keyword basis, and we covered this in my last video, so look at the one about uh, Google penalties if you wanna learn. On a keyword by keyword basis, it's actually seeing that you are developing new information that its, net, that its systems have not seen before underneath a specific topic area. No, that's not topical authority, that's just info gain, okay? Like if I were to do it, if I had like a big domain rating website or something, like a big authority site, and I had a category underneath it that was a little bit different, or like on the cusp of what my website was about, I could still write about it and underneath that category have a bunch of info gain and have that whole category of content move up. So that's what's happening. So basically Google, in a pretty short picture, in like three months or so, is collecting more data about the site. And it's saying, okay, it's actually uh, worthy of ranking higher. And that's why everything is moving higher. So when people typically ask like, hey, how long does it take to rank on Google? Well, yeah, it's like around three to six months, but also because Google has to collect enough data on it. It ranks it and then it collects the data and then it you know, processes that information. Okay, pretty straightforward. So you'd be asking me, okay, well, hey, now uh, what, you know, what would we do to grow this website and make it even bigger? Okay, well, I'm trying to do it without any backlinks just because I think that's fun. Maybe we will do backlinks, but you know, that is like expensive. But anyway, um, and it's not necessary. And I know that opens up a whole can of worms in this whole conversation. But remember, this channel's for the big rigs, okay? Anyway, so the next steps checklist is just number one, which is funny, continue to wait. So just like let Google collect more data. Like if you if you don't put ads on it, you don't create interruptions, you just, you just let Google collect more data on it, you'd be surprised how well that works. So this is a brand new site, got started in September. So realistically, if I'm competing against a website that has been around for, I don't know, 10 years, well then there's just a difference of data understand? So think about this. I've got data that is new, and then they've got data that's 10 years old. Which one is Google going to rely on more? The 10-year-old data, of course. That is, has nothing to do with domain age. See, people are buying all these age domains, and they're like, oh, that must be how it works. This must be how it works. No, 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 no. You can get a brand new domain, but yes, underneath your keyword, there might be domains that have just been around for a very long time. And you're just, you know, when it comes to the data, when it comes to this data, Google just has more about your competitors than you, okay? And I will go into that more depth and more depth in future videos. I know that's like, you're probably like, ooh, that sounds like something I'd really like to learn about. And it is very cool to understand is that on a keyword by keyword basis, there are little mini universes that exist underneath Google. You don't believe me? I'll prove it in that future video. But let's get back on track. The 
Next steps checklist. So just continue to wait. Number one, let Google collect some more data. Okay. Increase the, increase the content velocity. So I published, you know, roughly 130 articles. Um, they're all pretty short. So like when you click around, I mean, it's like, let's see. So yeah, it answers the question very quickly. Uh, it's all handwritten content. So if you're not watch if you're watching this and you don't know that handwritten content, you know, some tables. Um, and then I did like this, like Google trends chart that I just kind of made pretty easy to repeat through like post by post basically. And, um, I just like duplicated the posts and then just changed out some content. And it's like really easy to, to like just punch through the content. Actually the content, this in this template only takes me a, like a few minutes and remember to watch the first video on this. Cause I go over that. I go over testing out different templates and content types and seeing if Google likes it and then leaning into that. Okay. Content strategy is king. SEO strategy is king these days, okay? So increase the content velocity and then add in that off-page EEAT factor. So that would be basically me like creating a Instagram profile, like cooldefinitions.com, the Instagram profile, uh, cooldefinitions.com, the Facebook page, um, the TikTok page, um, like doing as much as I can to increase the cooldefinitions.com Google search results for when you search it. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a PR like play a little bit, maybe, I don't know, but, uh, but playing around with that a little bit and yes, that's kind of link building. It's going to link back to it. And that's definitely like a thing, but I'm not talking about like building like, you know, 500 links or something, or even really worrying about this number at all. So that's kind of what I'm referring to. Um, so those would probably be the next three things that I would do, whether or not I do them. I actually don't know. I'm just like so busy right now. Um, and I'm going to try to get to them, but at least the first one is like easy to do, which is just be patient. And that's a, that's like a great thing to do. And then the, the off page EEAT factors pretty easy to do as well. Like I can just, you know, spin up, you know, a couple of social media profiles and make sure they're linked and make sure they're indexed. And then that's pretty much it. And then, you know, we start to kind of send some of those off page, you know, cooldefinitions.com is actually a brand factor. We got to build that brand up, build up the search results within Google. Um, so I will walk you through that in future videos. All this one is, all this video is about is just checking in on this roadmap. Okay. That's all this video is about. So a little short one but uh, hopefully it was informative. You can go to the site too. Go to the site. I think that's really fun to do. Punch it in Ahrefs. Use that as a learning tool. Keep in mind, again, traffic's probably going to drop because I'm not really working on it like a ton. And that's just is what it is. All right. So if you got this far, um, definitely do all those things that you know how to do with YouTube videos. And, uh, you know, people have been emailing me and asking about this. And I appreciate it. I do. I look forward to working with uh, all of you and helping you. But um, generally speaking, I do some consultative services. Uh, whether you have a brand or not, it's about building one and using organic search to your advantage. Okay. Um, so if you have a brand, if you don't, it's just, it doesn't matter. You can come to me. I'm happy to help you get involved in organic search. Okay. And um, I do lots of these things. Uh, I think typically a 15,000 minimum investment is about right to really break into organic search. Let's say you have an e-com shop. You want to break into organic search. Let's say you have a SaaS product. You want to break in there. It's, it's highly competitive these days. So you, you need a little bit of a budget, okay? Um, sometimes people who just have sites that are um, monetized through display ads are coming to me and they're saying, hey, I just want to do the editorial work, this content strategy that you talk a lot about. And that's, that's me. That's what they're saying is like this content strategy thing that you talk a lot about. I like that. I want some of that. And so, um, they are, you know, just kind of asking for a completely offloaded, um, uh, solution there. So I'm happy to help as well. Or if you got some other idea, don't feel for, don't just email me. I'm cool with it. I will respond back. I actually like the emails, all emails, go ahead and respond back to them. Cause those, those are my big rigs. Okay. Those are my black hats. Anyway, um, this is the video for today and uh, hopefully you like my channel and you check out some more things and just remember this channel is for the big rigs only. Those Tonka Truck SEOs, see you later. Okay, see you later. Hope your charts are going up and to the right and I'll catch you in the next one.